What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, TJB24. Today, we with another reaction, another video. You feel me? Today, we got double XL. We got double XL freshman list officially dropped. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're gonna um state our opinion on every single artist. That is on this list. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna set our opinion on every artist that's on this list. Um, obviously, um, this this cover isn't bad. Actually, it's pretty decent. It's pretty um pretty decent. Um, yeah. Let's um. Let's see every artist. Um. One by one, let's okay. Let's start with Nada Wick. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Devon, he really be putting people all artists, you know, be way before they blow up. So, yeah. Um, but Nada Wick, um, I know him before he blew up. He's pretty hard, I ain't gonna lie, pretty far. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, sometimes his voice, like, gets annoying. That's all. I ain't gonna lie. It's like the way that he pronounces some words, you know what I'm saying, or say some words, pretty much. But his his music is pretty fire. I gotta say that. Um, I hope I pronounce this right. Oh, Dolce, Dolce. I don't really know much about Dolce. To be honest, I this is my first time. Up hearing about her, you know what I'm saying, really, and, yeah, pretty much it's my first time hearing about her, so I don't really know what to say about Doge, you know what I'm saying, um, Sofego, another person I knew before, he blew up, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, get your pre NOT. Bruh, what? Get that out of here. Okay. Um Um So Fago, I knew him before he blew up and honestly I rocked with his music before it blew up. But like he's one of those artists where I didn't really rock rock with after he blew up because I didn't really like his music like that, so yeah. And I really knew him because Tekka reposted a song from him. It wasn't that bad, by the way. It wasn't that bad that I heard it from. It was a it was a different song. I forgot the name of it. I probably gotta um listen to it again to be honest. That um that got deleted on the song. But yeah, that's my opinion on Sun Fago. I think he's a pretty he's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. He or honestly I don't like his music. Was an out, but I think he definitely deserved this spot on the list. You know what I'm saying? Narda Wick as well. I don't know about her, but Babyface Ray, a hundred percent, he deserved this spot. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna lie. Honestly, I don't know everything about him. I heard a few songs from, him, but he's he's been blowing up a lot. You know what I'm saying? He deserves a spot to me. So yeah, Kylie. Like honestly, at the end I'm gonna go to Spotify and see how big. I'm probably actually not gonna do that. I'm probably do that now. Actually, Kylie. Um, how big is she on Spotify? Like, what is her monthly percentage? Let's see. Let's see. Um. I'm guessing this is her. Um, she has a song with Bia. Uh, ATL Jacob is a producer on one of her songs. So, 1.3 million monthly listeners. She has a song with um, 20, 20 million streams. Another song with 24. Okay, word. Okay, that's. Okay, she. I think she deserves it. She, yeah, she probably deserves the spot, to be honest. 
Um, Casey, he definitely deserves this spot. Like, I only know from, um, Fabio Porn, um, album, that's how I first, like, heard of him, to be honest. But, I think he's pretty, he's pretty good. For sure, he's pretty good. Um, coaches, honestly, I don't like him as an artist. But if I gotta be honest, it's probably because of that baby voice, that Cardi style, that Cardi heat, and people like that style, and really just don't like that type of music. But yeah, um, but do he des does he deserve a spot? A hundred percent. He's blowing up a lot. You know what I'm saying? He's it's built a pretty good fan base. So yeah, I think for sure he deserves it. Big 30, a Memphis rapper, you know what I'm saying? Out of Memphis. I think he deserves a spot as well. You know what I'm saying? Just so far, it's a lot of people that actually did deserve it. But Big 30, yeah, I think for sure. I think he's gonna do his thing. I think. I think he's gonna do his thing. Honestly, by his music though, I think he's pretty hit or miss to me. You know what I'm saying? But that's a lot of Memphis rappers so. though. Like, even in Elite Chopper, I think he's hit or miss at times, to be honest. I, I love in Elite Chopper, but I think he's hit or miss at, some, at times. So, yeah, I think it's a Memphis thing. So. Ken the Man. I think this is the only female rapper on him that I actually heard of, though, to be honest. I heard of her from Snapchat. Because I had seen him. It was like, is Ken the man? You know what I'm saying? What a, you know what I'm saying? Like, how it did, how It's like an article, basically. That's pretty much. So it's another article. Magazine. For one of the Ken the man. You know what I'm saying? I had to look up if she was actually a man, though, but it's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, Big Scar. I think he deserves this spot. I, oh, yeah. Can the man, does she deserve this spot? I mean, I don't really. I think it's other artists that could be on here before her, to be honest. But with respect to her. Big Scar, um, how do I feel about Big Scar? Big Scar, he's another one of those Memphis rappers. So they got two Memphis rappers on him. Bad respect. But yeah, um, honestly, Big Scar, I think he's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty fire. I think he deserves the spot for sure. And, at the end, I'm gonna I'm um, tell you who I think got snubbed, or they probably just declined, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, the next person we got is Saucy Santana. Um, honestly, I don't know much about him. I just know he's he was on Mulatto. I think he was on Mulatto Tour, or a Lotto. He was also on XXL back in 2020. 2020. Um, honestly, I don't really listen to that type of music, so I don't know how his music sounds. Yeah, and I think, I think Coiler Ray, um, also promoted Slash Season as well. That's another, that's another way to, um, know about him. Um, who's next? The 10th spot winner, which I think. Come on now. Is, is this really still a thing, bro? Is 10th spot winner really a thing still? Come on now. Because it'd be like 13 people on the list. So what is the point of having a 10th spot winner? At that point, be a 13th spot winner. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? <laughs> Y'all just be putting, y'all be putting 12 people and still say 10th spot winner? Like, come on now. But 10th spot winner was Baby Tron. So that was a W. That was a W for the list. I feel like he shouldn't have even had to be a 10th spot winner. 
You know what I'm saying? Honestly. Um I got I think I think he's a really, really good artist. You know what I'm saying? He's a really, really good artist. Um, honestly, he deserves a spot for sure. I think he definitely deserves a spot. Baby Sean, he had dropped that, um, that, it was like 20 beats, I think, something like that. It was like him rapping over 20 beats. You know what I'm saying? His punch lines, bro, his punch lines is different, bro. Like, I think low key, low key out of everybody on this list, like, and of course, yeah, I think Loki, out of everybody on this list, he is definitely the, um, hold up, golly, bro, oh, okay, um, um, yeah, Baby Sean, I think he's definitely the best lyricist on this list, in my personal opinion, it's not really many, there's not even no lyricists on this list. To be honest, it's not it's not a poor day from twenty nineteen on this list. It's not uh, um who's on well it's not I wouldn't even say Baby King was the list. I say Polo G. It's not a Polo G like on twenty twenty, you know what I'm saying? And it's not a um blast. It's not a blast in twenty twenty one, so I guess Baby Sean is that guy, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's definitely the, I wouldn't say the best. I w I'm not gonna say the best yet. I don't know yet. I don't know, I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect from any of these freestyles, cypress. I don't even know what, group, like, what groups they're gonna put, you know what I'm saying? The groups is gonna be insanely, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they're doing with the groups. Like, Back in 2018 and 2019, you can actually kind of predict the groups. You know what I'm saying? This, only thing i say is they probably put Big Scar and Big 30. Or, um, I think Big Scar. Isn't Big Scar and Big 30 both on this list? Yeah. Um, I think, for sure, they're gonna, um, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Put them two together. But I, who knows? They, I thought that was going to put, um, who, who did I think that was going to put with, um, I thought that was going to put, um, I didn't think that was going to put Kometa Z, Roddy Rich, and Tiara Wack in the cypher. Three different styles, first of all. So, yeah, um, but yeah, um, what do I have to say about this list though? Ooh. I was I was too busy on um, doing this. The hotel, it literally, you know what I'm saying? It literally did this. Okay, um but let me know what do y'all think about this list though? Like do y'all think it's mediocre? Do you think it's a good list? Or do you think it's a trash list? Let me know. But yeah, um, I want to see these comments though. Let's see the comments on this bus. Um, yeah, did I not talk about Pingu? I think I did talk about Pingu. It was like one of the first people that I talked about. Um, so yeah, honestly, I don't get why the um, on this on this right here it says NFTs. Take over hip hop, bro. Nobody cares about no NLT. Rappers special collections, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. This is um the comments on um this post right here from Hello You Seen. Um, yeah. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, um, I got, I think, who's gonna do the best on the list? Oh, 
I got a real one. I got a real one. Who do I think is not going to do a freestyle? Bruh, I don't think So Vega is going to do a freestyle. I think he's going to be that one guy that's like, ooh, I'm got it this year. Or, um, who? Trippy Red. I'm Trippy Red. I don't, I'm going to do a freestyle, but I don't want to do a cypher. You know what I'm saying? Or he's going to be like Baby Baby King didn't want to do a, um, a cypher as well. Did he even do it? Oh yeah, he did do a freestyle. I forgot. It was yeah. I don't. I don't know what he was talking about. He was checking. But yeah. Um. Go for. Go for. Yeah, honestly, I think this is better than last year. Honestly, it's better than last year. Last year, I think they had some W spots. I think DG Murray, those were W picks. Honestly, though, I hate to say it, but I think Murray is low key like on a decline because he ain't really dropping like that. To be honest, but yeah, um. I'm gonna go ahead and um go ahead and um uh what am I trying to say? I'm gonna go ahead and uh close this video out. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of like, okay, um, I'm gonna do this, alright, um, okay, so like, subscribe, comment, and, um, let me know your thoughts on the list, let me know your thoughts on the cover, let me know your overall thoughts, you feel me, and, with all that being said, I'm out. Peace.